Birds and the bees and the mountains and the trees. Hey, is that a bird or your dick? Sticking ever between your knees. That's birth control. What is happening? <laughs> the talk about the birds and the bees. First of all, I don't know what the story of the birds and the bees is. I know. I do wonder how many fairies. I think the birds and the bees, they're fucking. I just don't know the science behind it. <laughs> right, right. Why it has to be these two animals. Yeah. Right. How did you find out about the, the do nasty? It was actually my parents. Really? Yeah. They sat me down with a book. No. With a book. If I remember correctly, it showed like animals do this uh -huh. and it's totally normal and natural. And mom and dad do it too. Oh! And so my dad was like, all right, boys, get over here, sit, sit, sit over <laughs> so here. So your dad did it. Yeah, my dad did it. So he had the book and he goes, do you want, do you want me to read it out loud? And I, I thought he said, do you, do you want to read it? And I was like, yeah, 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 I'll, I'll, we'll just read it. Because right when I saw the cover of like me and my brother both knew. You're like, we know this. Listen, we, America Online was a thing. I was already looking at smut. I knew what it was. And then yeah, he just starts easy. reading it. And I was easy, like, yeah. my brother looks at me like, you piece of shit. No, <laughs> our dad's reading us about sex. By the end of the conversation, the only question I had was, so do I pee in her? <laughs> Mine was interesting. I'm the youngest of, there's three girls. So my dad lays out three white roses. Two of them are perfect. One of them is, is not. It's been like touched and handed it around and like petals, whatever. Oh, and boy. he asks us all to pick one, right? So obviously uh -huh. nobody wants that one. And of course I one. get it because I'm the youngest. <laughs> and the metaphor was like, nobody wants something that's been touched and handed around by everybody. So <gasps> lock it up. But I still wanted to have fun in college. So I kind of like that. I was like, so then it was a huge slut. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Define slut. <laughs> I never had the talk with them, I think because they just 100% knew I was not having sex. <laughs> <laughs> I think they just knew. That's so cruel. And my conversation involved my dad, who was a cop, sitting me down because the girl that I was taking out was the daughter of a different cop. And he goes, okay, look, if you get this girl pregnant, your life ends. Oh. Wow. That's the best birth control I've ever heard. Yeah. How about when your dad finds your happens. handwritten diary <laughs> describing? That happened to me once. Yeah, me too. Really? Turns out that you shouldn't write that in detail and then like leave it on your bed. We were listening to Bourbons and Cadillacs by Master P. <laughs> you know? In a yellow Mustang. Dude, that shit was legit. I was doing the dishes after dinner and he comes up and he's like, Nikki, are you sexually active? That's it, <laughs> verbatim. And I'm just looking at the dishes, scrubbing him. No dad. Okay, and that's it. That was Nothing the only else. mention. Nothing else, ever. I don't think I ever had a, the talk with my parents at all. I call my mom and be like, Mom, where do babies come from? Like, I don't get it. Like, all, all my friends know and you never told me. He just keeps peeing at me. That's not how it's supposed to <laughs> go, right? I tried to talk to my parents as little as possible. So I, can see I learned that. at school. <laughs> it was given up to the Catholic school to tell me how oh, to. Oh, yeah, yeah. How to Sex do that. Was more in school. Which was all about yeah, abstinence. That's... So I just like awkwardly fell into it. One Literally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you have like the health class in like freshman year of, of high school yeah. where they just went through all the STDs? Just like yeah. that was the best one. Here's a dick just with herpes. <laughs> See that? You have sex on prom. You're gonna get that. The bad kids are smoking dope. Like whatever. No. No, yeah. you don't. No, you don't get it. I do remember this person came in and they made us sign a paper that was like, I won't have sex until marriage. This is public school too. You're contractually obligated that's, to abstinence. That's the thing I realized, I was like, that's somewhere. <laughs> just boxes full of little kids, like abstinence, <laughs> abstinence <laughs> forms. It's like the old man wheeling oh, it in. It's like, that's somewhere. And on my wedding day, that he's gonna burst in and just be like, I object. Right. <laughs> I learned by the kid that brings in like the porno magazine. He was like, hey, uh, check this out. Oh, cool. And then, you know. You were friends with that kid? Yeah. Were you were that, that kid, kid in school. <laughs> I saw crazy porn with my brother and his friends. What? It was called Tales from the Backside. It so it was all butt sex. I learned oh that my, my first introduction to seeing what a penis looked like was in <laughs> graphic Jesus. Oh my god. Yeah, you never forget that slapping sound. <laughs> I got a damn perfection, right? All right, I'm all right. The cupping. <laughs> that was it. I knew, I, I knew how it worked then. <laughs> the slapping sound. What about yeah. the whole stork thing? Because I feel like I bought that until I didn't. But or, fun fact: the you think Santa the, um, was dropped by a stork? stork is the Vlasic pickle. Yes. Yeah, pickle penis. It's a metaphor. 